Welcome to part 3 of my parallax camera tutorial. So I've linked the previous parts in the description below if uh, you've come with this one and you need to go back or retrace your steps. But in this one we'll go into how to mix the, the, the camera moves as well. So let's go into it now. Okay so we need to go back into the parallax camera blueprint. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new custom event. So right click, add custom events and I'm going to call this update camera position. Okay, I'm going to get the player by holding the control, dragging it in. I want to make sure that this is valid. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a boolean here and we're going to make this public. So there is a setting you can add for a parallax camera to make sure that to check to see if you whether you want the camera to follow the player when it jumps, whether you want the uh, the camera just to stay on the same axis. Um, it's entirely dependent on the on the choices made for the game. But I like to set a uh, public variable and by default compile that. I want it to be set to true so that when the player jumps it follows it around. So drag in that bit of control, get a branch, and then we can update the codes based on those different conditions. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to set the one for if the code is false. So right click, we want to get actor location for the camera. We want to split, and we're only interested in the the Z value. So we'll go for that. Make a vector. For some reason it's it's crossed the notes over. So I'll just drag Z to Z, and then from the play, we want to get the actor location. Split the struct pin. I'm going to drag that into X here. Get the actor location for the camera. I'm going to get a V interpolate two. Connect the vector into here. Uh, for delta time, we we'll just get the world's delta settings. As for the interpolation speed, I just set that to 20. It's a magic number, but it'll do for now. Come out of here, and then we'll type in set actor location. And this is going to be the case if that's false. Okay, so now for true. We'll just move these nodes just a bit further up because we need a bit of space. So, what we can do here is we can drag off this again, make a vector, get the Z value here, and then what we can do is we can get the actor location again for the camera. interpolate to drag that into that select this node control W to copy to save a little bit of time drag that into the delta time and again interpolation speed 20 drag out of this here set actor location and I know it's a bit a bit of a mess but that's just the case if it's true there's a lot of nodes there, so I do apologise it's a bit spaghetti at the moment, but hope I'll uh, just quickly highlight this over here so that you need to pause the video. So that's where the starting point is. And that's where the ending point is there. 
hit compile, go down the bottom, and from this we want to drag out and call that custom event. So update camera position. Now remember we set it to true um, by default. Control Shift and S to save. Let's hit play and see if it works. And as you can see, it is following the play. Escape that. Go into the parallax camera. Deselect follow Z axis. Hit play. And there. You can see that the parallax effect is working, but the camera is no longer uh, following the jump. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you find this useful. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, please uh, please put notes in the comments below, and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my video, and if you like what you see, please subscribe and like, and feel free to leave a comment below if you have any feedback or suggestions. Take care, guys. Goodbye.